What's up you guys, it's Henry. Welcome back to the channel. We have to have a discussion about Apple stock because the iPhone 12 virtual event is in a week and this is going to have a huge impact on Apple stock. Just a few weeks after Apple launched its new smartwatches and tablets, the tech giant sent out an invitation to another virtual product event. The invitation includes the cryptic phrase high speed, likely a nod to 5G connectivity that could debut on the iPhone 12. The virtual event will be held on Tuesday, October 13th. The event is expected to focus on new iPhone models, but other products including Apple branded over ear headphones and smaller HomePod could also be revealed. Here's an overview of what investors should expect from the event and why Apple's new iPhone lineup could be a key catalyst for the technology company's sales growth, lighting the stock on fire. Also, Apple disappointed many in September after coming in at an all-time highs, riding a surge at the end of August after announcing a four-for-one stock split. However, the split-driven pop quickly evaporated as savvy investors seemed to realize that it didn't actually add any value even though the stock gained 21% in August in anticipation of the split. If you want a video of my explanation and correct prediction that a stock split doesn't add any value, then this right here is a phenomenal video explaining exactly why a split doesn't add any value. Anyways, let's get into discussing the rumors and Apple events since this is our immediate foresight. But first, let's discuss the rumors and Apple events since this is our immediate foresight future and that's going to be happening in about a week. Apple seems to unanimously agree on one thing. The tech giant's rumored iPhone 12 lineup will be launched during the company's big event next week. The new smartphones are expected to have flat edges similar to those featured in recently launched iPad Pro and iPad Air devices. The smartphones are rumored to support 5G connectivity, so I'm betting people are going to go mad over this event. In addition to launching the devices in a newly styled form factor, Apple will also reportedly debut three display sizes. The company is expected to launch its smallest iPhone since the iPhone SE in 2016, as well as an iPhone with its largest display yet. The iPhone will come in at 5.4 inches, 6.1 inches, and a 6.7 inch heights according to rumors. This compares to 5.8 inches and 6.5 inch display options for the iPhone 11 Pro and 6.1 inches on the iPhone 11. So it looks like they're coming in with a wider range and I personally believe they want to capture more of the market's preferences for different iPhone sizes. Of course, the new models are expected to boast Apple's new 5 nanometer A14 processors that first found its way to the company's new iPad Air just a few weeks ago. The processors promise 40% CPU speed improvements and 30% graphic boosts, and this is an absolute game changer since mobile usage is skyrocketing. I mean, take a look at this mobile usage chart compared to desktops, mobile is skyrocketing. Not only is the usage higher, but people are addicted to their phones and the iPhone, in my opinion, has become a staple. Currently, there are more than 100 million iPhone users in the United States, accounting for about 45% of all smartphone users in the United States. I can see this metric going higher towards 50% if iPhone keeps improving and taking market share. In addition to new iPhone sales, Apple is expected to launch the first Apple branded over ear headphones. The headphones will attempt to build on a significant momentum that the tech company has seen with its AirPods. Other potential product launches include a smaller smart speaker, new Macs, and tile-like Bluetooth trackers that can be attached to items and tracked with Apple's Find My app and potentially other apps that Apple might reveal or other products that Apple might reveal during this big event next week. The reason this video is so important is that the iPhone remains the company's most important product by a long shot with the smartphone segment accounting for more than half of its trailing 12-month revenue and likely impacting profits even more. Now, Apple doesn't really break out the gross profits derived from the iPhone Phone, but most analysts believe it's one of the company's most profitable products. That wouldn't really surprise me since regarding the Apple's Q1 2020 holiday performance, Tim Cook, the CEO said, we are thrilled to report Apple's highest quarterly revenue ever 
fueled by strong demand for iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro models and all time records for services and wearables. So we have some proof there that this is going to be a very important reveal for Apple and the iPhone is going to make a significant difference amongst investors. Some analysts are betting that a combination of 5G connectivity, a new form factor and new display sizes will fuel and significantly add demand for the new iPhone. Based on how customers responded to the last time there was a major change to the iPhone display size, the iPhone 6, these analysts could be very right. Since September 1st, Apple stock has seen a decline of 14%. The company is now valued at exactly $2 trillion as I'm making this video. So now what? What is happening next, Henry? Apple shares could be volatile again this month. The company's fourth quarter earnings report is also due out at the end of this month. So analysts see revenue falling about 0.3% to about $63 billion and earnings per share might slip from 76 cents to about 70 cents. However, the most important quarter, especially for a consumer and technology company like Apple is Q4. So I think we will see more price action from Apple event rather than the earnings since the event itself will really impact the holiday sales in quarter four. However, here's a different account that I have on Thinkorswim and the options are applying about an $11 up or down move from now until the end of this month. The volatility for the options are 48%. Basically, the implied move is saying that Apple should be between $105 on the low end and $125 this month. I see Apple picking up towards $125 as we approach into the holiday season and earnings report. Implied moves are interesting to study since they tell you a lot about volatility and this is one of the things I will be teaching in my options course. If you have suggestions, questions, or want to get updates, I have a free sign up link in my description. I will be sending a second email to everyone in about a week from today. To conclude this video, I see a lot of strength in Apple and I'm going to give you guys another update very soon. I think the price momentum will continue and we're going to see some more skyrocketing because we have definitely pulled back. The stock has hit the low 110s and even lower. So it's currently at $115. I see between now and the event, some more pent up demand for the stock since there might be a big reveal and investors know this. So I'll be watching the stock very closely and I'll give you an update in about a few short days. Oh, and don't forget to take advantage of the two free stocks that Webull is offering in their promotion. That promotion ends October 15th. So if you deposit $100, you get two free stocks. It's a pretty good deal in my opinion. It is one of the brokerages that I do use. Anyways, I'll start working on the next video, which is probably going to be plug power next because a lot of you guys have commented that you want to see that video and I do read your comments. So I do appreciate that. And I will make that video probably tomorrow or the next day. As always, be aggressive in learning, but be safe in investing. I'll see you back on the channel very soon.